I want to talk to you about something that has happened as a revolution in our country and one that you may not be aware of. Remember back to 9-11, September 11, 2001, the World Trade Towers? Think about how much we knew about Islam. Well, we didn't know anything really to speak of. Our teachers, law enforcement, media, military, they knew nothing about Islamic doctrine except maybe sort of at the National Geographic level. The educational pillars of our civilization, the professors and intellectuals, told us that Islam was the religion of peace and that we were the problem. The classical scholars turns out to be apologists for Islam, not guardians of our defense. Then a revolution happened. Self-taught scholars such as myself, Spencer, Trifkovic, and others began to write books and blogs about Islam. Now their knowledge had a new novel feature. Their books were written and their blogs were written for the common man to read. Let me assure you that previous scholarship from the academy was written for other tenured professors to read and these were difficult to read, dry, boring books. Now, the self-taught scholarship was about the foundations of Islam, the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad. Now, academic scholarship doesn't really want to talk about the Quran and Muhammad so much. They want to make comments about comments about comments, opinions from other experts. And by the way, these books are about as exciting as watching paint dry. Now, the experts began to criticize those who were the self-taught experts and say that we couldn't learn by ourselves which was interesting to us. I myself, for instance, have a degree in physics, a PhD, and when you tell me that I can't read a book and understand it for myself, I'm left a bit puzzled because I don't know how to tell you this, but I can read big, thick, old books and understand them. I'd like to point out something else, though, is that self-taught, which is used as a derogatory term, is the mark of all creativity. I've already mentioned that I'm a physicist, and one of the things that I used to like to do was to teach my students the story of the people behind the discovery. For instance, Sir Isaac Newton. He didn't go to school to learn calculus. He created calculus. He was self-taught in the area of mathematics. Benjamin Franklin discovered that lightning was electricity. No one taught him this. He had to teach this to himself. He was self-taught. So the pushback against political Islam did not come from the professionals, but self-taught amateurs. Now, the self-taught amateurs were more than writers, because it turns out you have to be somewhat like a guerrilla fighter if you're going to write on the subject of Islam. You're going to get very little help, and you're going to need to create your own forum. So you have to not only have the intelligence to write, but you have to have the courage to stand and say it. I, for instance, have been condemned endlessly the front page of the newspaper here in Nashville, Tennessee has featured me several times and always as a bigot and a hater. The Southern Poverty Law Center has said that I'm one of America's top ten hater, racist, bigot Islamophobes. CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, says I'm part of the inner circle of hate. So, stand up and talk about Islam and tell the truth. Notice that they don't say that what I'm saying is wrong. They say I'm a hater for doing it. Now let's see what would happen if you went to a school to learn from the professionals. And let's take my school here in Nashville, Tennessee, Vanderbilt University. When I first started going to the library to study Islam, I ran across the nine volumes of Bukhari. Now these were in the gold edition. By the way, Bukhari is a writer of Hadith and a very serious scholar. So when I saw these nine volumes in their gold bindings, I was all excited because here they were in the Vanderbilt Theology Library. I picked it up and when I opened it, I heard the sound of ignorance, a crack. That is, the spine of these fine-bound books had never been opened before. I was the first person to open this book. So I went through and opened all nine of them. In all cases, I was the first person that ever opened these books. But here's the deal. If I had gone to the Vanderbilt Theology School and then written a paper about Islam, I would have been considered a professional. And yet, what had I done if I actually went to that school? Never open and read the Hadith of Bukhari. So I then spoke to a Vanderbilt law professor who teaches Sharia. This woman doesn't know Sunna from Tuna or Sirah from Syrup. I said, what do you do about the study of Jihad in course on Sharia? She says, oh, we don't study Sharia for those things. We study for contract law and financial agreements. So if I'd have gone to this professor's course on Sharia at the law school, I would have learned nothing about Islam. Then I gave a talk at Vanderbilt University, and the head of the Middle East Department screamed at me that I was a racist didn't criticize anything I said, just said that I'm a racist. 
So the universities are filled with apologists for Islam. You can go to a religious school like Lipscomb University here in Nashville, Tennessee, and you will never discover anything about the history of the persecuted church. Now, today we have a new president, President Trump. And if he understood the self-taught revolution, what he would do is he would harness these minds, not by giving us money, but simply letting us have access. For instance, why can't the CIA and the FBI be take John Guandola's courses on law enforcement? We need to start seeing what would happen if we could bring in the knowledge of these self-taught scholars into the inner circles of power. So we have what it takes to win a civilizational war. Let's see if Trump can put us in place where instead of defending ourselves against bigotry, we can stand in front of people who are professionals and who want to learn. Because we will not be defended by the professors, the clergy, the mainstream media, or our so-called intellectuals. But we can do it ourselves if we're just given the chance. Thank you.